doesn't happen just because you put your body on the ground, truly. It happens by you taking a breath in and let that breath move itself through. And take another breath in. Exhale out. Take another breath in. And then really witness your exhale, how the length of it. Because it's the exhalations that move us into the parasympathetic nervous system of the relaxation response. Our inhales actually keep our, um, they're moving us more towards our sympathetic, the fight or flight. But so if we take a breath in, but we don't get that air freely out, that's how we always stay at the start of the day, all knitted up in fight or flight. When they're just, when like sometimes nothing's even happening, most times nothing's even happening. It's just that that's kind of been our go-to for so long. So really go into inhaling and go through the exhale. And when you don't hear any more sound coming from you, then there'll be a pause and then the breath in will find you. Your exhale is just clear the space. Yeah, good. And take your arms straight out in front of you. Your elbows and forearms lift off the ground. And just walk your hands over to the right. Keep your hands shoulder width apart. And by shoulder width, I mean the width of your shoulders. And breathe into the left side, left rib cage, and the left lung. And then go ahead, walk your hands left. And breathe into the right side. On the inhale, everything gets elongated through the rib cage. And then the exhale moves through. Come on back to center. Come up onto your hands and knees. Knees and underneath your hips. Take your right arm straight out to the sun wall on the right side of the room. Look at your fingertips and lengthen them. And take your arm right up to the ceiling. And take your arm a little bit lower than shoulder level. Breathe into that right lung. And as you exhale, thread it through. So bring your right ear, right shoulder on the ground. And lengthen out through that right arm while you use the left hand into the floor. Press the upper back toward the sun wall. Good. Take your left arm straight up, so you're still where you guys are, like stay right in that thread the needle. Yep, you're still there. And all we're going to do is lift the left arm up, exhale, wrap the left arm around your back, mm -hmm. and keep pressing the upper mid back. Breathe into that. Now come on up. Take that right arm on the inhale. You want to hear your own inhalation. Lengthen through that right arm, right up to the ceiling. Look up there and hear the exhale. Bring the right hand down on the ground. Left arm, extend it. Take it a little below shoulder level. And peel it open just a little more by taking it to the ceiling. Every finger stretching away, palm spreading open. Shoulder blades hugging in toward middle back. And exhale, thread it right through. 
Bring that left ear shoulder down, pressing the upper back toward the tree wall while you lengthen out through that left arm. And you can take that left arm a little below shoulder level too. Yeah, just so it, like things feel like, okay, I'm in this, but it's comfortable. And you just focus on your exhales clearing out so you can take a bigger breath in. And you're kind of bunched up right now, but you want to just focus on the breath, which will keep your mind away from focusing on constriction. Because where our energy goes, where our thoughts go, energy goes. Restriction, constricted. Breathe into it, and you'll create space around it. Take the upper arm, wrap it around your back, and just kind of peel the right shoulder and right lung open a bit more. Good. Press the upper back away from you. Nice. And then come on back up. Take that left arm right there out of the tree wall again. Spread it open a little more and peel that left side open. And then exhale it to the ground, taking yourself into downward facing dog. And in your downward dog, really drop your head. Really go into the breath. We free up the upper mid back. Suddenly there's ease to breathe. And if you haven't found it yet, you will. Walk it out a little bit. So bend one knee and then the other. And then really start moving your hips around. And get a feel for that. Get a feel for that. And so you're making movements. They're deliberate. But you're slowing things down at the start because it's not a race. It's just getting started. We'll get this yoga party started. But we'll just kind of ease into it so that there's space for discovery. And often when we feel really tight and uptight, we'll build a big story around that. So see in your body where there's actually like, things are really just fine. Things are really just fine. You focus on wellness and that's what's returned to you. Optimal wellness, so mind, body, Spirit. Go ahead, separate your feet out hip width, and I want you to spin your heels to the right, like side plank, but with your legs open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and take that arm to the sky if you can. Lengthening that tailbone, pull your chest toward the front of the room, and release. And then the other side, kind of a side plank, but from the down dog variation. Breathe into everything. Otherwise, it, it truly is like too hard. And go ahead and return. Downward dog, press it back. Draw the breath into the lungs. Filter it out. Pull the feet together. Lift up your heels. With your belly squeezing in, jump. Feet to your hands. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold forward. Press your feet down all the way up to the sky. Fingertips are getting long. Toes are pressing, so you find the big toe and the baby toe, and you just mount them right into the ground. The inner ankles back, the inner thighs spinning to the back of the room, and the thighs lifting right off the knees, and the tailbone's lengthening. Good. You're getting lifted through the side waist. Shoulder blades hug in. Lift your gaze to the sky and look up. Keep your thighs, keep your legs, feet strong. Anchor them in down into the floor. And then take a baby back bend. And hands to your heart. 
Clearing out the three arms. Inhale. take up space in your own body. That's a gift. And we often don't do it and by not breathing so much we're not filling our body up with space of the breath in. Spacious energy. And then we move that energy through that gets stuck on the out breath. So you get unstuck on the mat. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Good. And that creates freedom internally that we expand on in our lives after class. Walk or jump. Feet to hands. Lengthen the breath in to the lungs. Draw the breath out. Hug the belly in as you fold. One more. Rise up. And exhale. Fold. Breath in, pull the chest through, past the shoulders. Step back, high five. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let your head drop. While your head drops, so your ears kind of uh, frame the inner arms, squeeze your arms toward one another. And then take your upper biceps, the inner upper biceps, and just roll them away from one another. Create that space in the upper back, around the neck and shoulders. Good. So you see where you're not free, and then you do what you need to do. Take your right foot forward, your left foot to meet your right. Breathe in, lengthen out, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward, forward. Head heavy, feet press into the floor. 
Bend your knees, drop your butt, reach up. Sit the weight back in your heels, nice, this is great. And squeeze your thighs like they're one. Squeeze your buttocks. And then pull the chest up, pull the chest up. Get long in the spine. Sink your tailbone down and back. And breathe. Widen out the arms so you make room for the shoulders. And lengthen through every arm bone and fingertip. Nice. Now put a smile on your face. And if it doesn't feel like it's no big thing, act as if. Take a little lower. Five, four, three. Go into your breath. Two. Big breath in. Sink lower. Fold forward. Out breath. Nice. Inhale. Halfway. Move into high plank. Move into low push up. One pose flowing to the next. The breath links the movements. Up dog. In breath. Out breath. Down facing. One pose flowing, right foot forward, back foot down, reach up. Press your knee forward and press it open. Good. Take your hands to your rib cage and just lift everything up. Everything gets so compressed and things can't move. We get congested and we don't have a way to move it. Your body says, I'm your own healer, you're fine. Breathe in. Arms reach up. Your arms are lined up over your shoulders. Your fingers spread out wide. And if you need to make room in the upper back, put your mental focus there and you'll figure out what to do. Bring your palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Move back through. High push-up to low push-up. Into your up dog. On a breath in. And finish that breath out. Left foot moving, one pose into the next, warrior one, inhale up, now land your gaze. And the alignment is there, the center of the front heel pressing down, the outer edge of the back foot pressing, but the eyes on one spot, so you're strong on bottom, soft eyes, soften the jaw. Big breath from the base of the throat. Stretch up, bring your palms together, press them together, and then everything else is stretching up while the feet really push down into the floor first. And back to high plank. Low push up. Up dog. Out breath. Feet are hip width apart. Make that little bit of room, it makes a world of difference. A world of difference. A new world. <laughs> a new world. Take a big breath in. And just exhale. Really good. Take your right leg to the sky. You can bring your feet together. I want the right leg to uh, need a bend. And the upper foot, you're going to get ready to flip your dog. But before you do, I want you to move the shoulders over the wrists. Yeah. And then flip. So then your arm is already all set. Your feet face forward, they press down. Your toes face 12 o'clock. So toes in a little more, heels out. Squeeze your thighs, but go into the center of each heel and root down. Hug that shoulder blade, lower shoulder blade into the middle spine. Reach the arm up, 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 up. Take the arm out again, just a little more. So before you transition, stretch out just a little bit more. Press your hips away from your fingertips. Feel the length and then strength. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Downward dog. Take your right leg to the sky. And hug it tight, knee to your nose. Kick up and lengthen. And pull in, knee to nose, shoulders over the wrist, chin to chest. Kick high. Exhale, pull in, squeeze it tight. Not your jaw, not your eyes, but squeeze that leg right up into your belly. And in length. And 
ankle, head sweep forward, crescent lunge on the right side. So you give space between your feet. Come on up. Take your foot out a little more here. Yeah. While these toes. Yep, your heels pretty much it. Just ah. turn the heel. And you want a little more space between the feet. So yeah. There you go. There you go. So you find the feet. They're your gateway to heaven. <laughs> and you can't storm the gates of heaven. Breathe. Hands to your heart. Press them together. Good. On the mat, you get to explore. And so pressing your heart together, pressing your hands to your heart, pressing the hands and the heart into each other. Gratitude for every other explorer that came before. Twist, left elbow. You should take this class. I am. <laughs> I am recording this class. <laughs> really look to press the right knee open. Often we'll cave the knee in. And that's always going to keep your hips stuck. So we're going to go to the stuck places so we can turn lights on, soft light, not blaring light, not fluorescent light, but to just see like, oh, okay. Throughout the practice, I have opportunities to start opening myself up. Bottom fingertips through the floor to the blocks. Upper hand reaching, reaching, reaching. So your fingers press down. That bottom hand symbolizes the earth. Your feet symbolize the earth. And everything else spins up to the heavens. So you're heaven and earth. Go ahead, find warrior two. Back foot flat. Lengthen through the arms. Set the gaze. There. Squeeze through the outer edge of that back foot. Reverse your warrior. Breathe it in. Press your front knee forward a little more. Drop your hips a little deeper. And let the upper hand catch hold of your shin or ankle, left arm to the sky. Good. Take the upper arm, wrap it around your back. Peel things open. And release. Move it through, high plank. Your breath will move the body. Low plank, up dog, downward dog. Otherwise, without the breath, the movements will be choppy. Take your feet together. Left leg high. Shift the shoulders over the wrist. Bend the upper leg. Bend that knee and flip over. Just go for it. Like, if you don't want to take the pose all apart, that we can't find our way in and out of it, you just flip over. And to do that, you just give up thinking about it. Breathe. Instead of thinking right now, breathe. Take your arm to the sky. Hand to your heart. Thank God I can breathe. Even if it's challenging, thank God I'm not on oxygen. <laughs> High push-up. Low push-up. Up dog. Downward facing. Left leg high. Pull it in, knee to nose, shoulders over the wrist. Lengthen that leg again. And knee to your nose. Kick up, lengthen, spread every toe. Pull it in tight, knee to nose. Kick up. Look forward and sweep that left foot just to that left thumb. Maybe outside of that hand even. So widen the feet, come on up. Arms go straight up. Your shoulders will line right up over your hips. And there's the energy for the spine. Good. Hands to your heart. Turn your chest to face the tree. And then take your right elbow outside the left thigh. Press the left knee open. Plug the front foot down. Press through the ball of your back foot. Bottom fingertips through the blocks. Upper hand to the sky. If you take your uh, bottom arm a little below shoulder level and just think, if I breathe in, everything will get the length and space it needed. And when you exhale, everything comes back together. 
Twist it open a little more. And as you twist open on the out breath, squeeze your belly in tight. For your two. Set your eyes. Find your feet. And breathe. Plug through the outer edge of that back foot. Press that front knee open. Reverse that warrior. And extend it side or catch hold of the lower leg. Keep pressing the knee open with your left elbow. Pull, peel the left hip in toward the middle of your mat. It's going to start lining your hip and knee. We're just bringing you back to alignment. We see where we're off. And then it's just very small movements. Then we're right back. And if we're aligned in our physicality, we'll be aligned with the right path the rest of the day. Because one affects the other. Go ahead, take the upper arm, wrap it around your back. Pull the chest up toward the chin as you breathe in, that'll happen. Exhale, release on the out breath, let yourself out of the pose. High plank, low plank, up dog, down facing dog. Take a breath in. Ah. Palms plug into the floor. Knuckles of first and second fingers press down. Press down right through here. Lighten this up. Yeah, and it's like you're lifting out of your wrist. Good. And all this is opening. Jump or walk. Feet to hands. Breathe in. Flat back. Breathe out, forward fold. Grab your ankles or grab your legs and really hug in, chest into your thighs more. Bend your knees, come all the way up. Hands to your heart. Feel the tailbone lengthening. Front edge of the pelvis just tilts up toward the ribs. Keep my soup in. That's right. Eagle. Reach up. Right arm. Right leg. Keeping the shoulders over the hips, keeping the spine long and lifted. Hands can be in prayer. Hands can be on the hips with the elbows in. And if you're wrapping, feel like your elbows line up with your shoulders. The crown of your head is pushing up into the ceiling, that way the neck gets length. And press the elbows like you're pushing them down into a piece of wood. Sink down, open up wide, breath in, exhale, left leg, left arm, float in the belly, and there's your stability. Feel the legs squeezing on top of one another, very slowly, steer your hips toward the front of the room. Sink down, big sweep. Right arm, right leg. You're gonna sit up nice and tall like your spine is pressing against the back wall, the front door. The hips will go toward the right corner of the room near the TV. And just as because the hips are tight. So bend your right knee first. Keep your belly button lined up with the front of the room. Dead center as much as possible. And take that leg and press it on the right. Left arm hooks under. Fingers are long on both hands. Set your gaze at your forearms. 
and breathe. Bigger you breathe, it'll take that candle flame flickering in the mind and just still it, bringing you from feeling all jumbled up to just brought right together internally and then the pose is there. Sink down, sweep off. Hands to your hips. Bend your right knee. Catch hold of your right knee or shin. Or the big toe. And lengthen that leg out if you like. Or open the leg to the right. Slowly steer your eyes to look over your left shoulder. Put your eyes on one spot. Hug your belly in tight. And if your arm is stretched out, line it up with the shoulder. Maybe a little lower, but hug the shoulder head into the socket. So while you lengthen the arm, you're not overdoing. Come back to center. Take the left hand to the outside of the knee or shin. Take the right arm straight back behind you. Fingertips are long. Palm is open wide because that's going to integrate you into your arm. Come on back. Sweep the arms up. Push through the right foot, through the ball and heel of the right foot, straight back, airplane. The right hip rolls down to meet the left, yeah. So the inner thigh on the right leg slowly spins up to the ceiling. Plug right through that foot, push it right into my hand, pull the chest up a little more, shoulders sliding down the back, nice. There's your airplane pose, you're looking out in front of you, not straight down. Hug in your belly and pull the chest high. Just like an up dog. So if the chest is sinking, then the body sinks. It's more work to stay upright. Hands to your heart. Half moon. You're going to take your fingertips to the floor. Underneath that block. Set the blocks up so the fingers lightly tent the block. Mm -hmm. Your upper foot's flexed toward the toes, pulled toward the knee. And you're just feeling like you're going to stack your hips on top of one another. Lengthen your heart outward. Spine lengthening. And if you like, look up or look straight at the side wall. Feel the upper lung and shoulder open a little bit more. Good. You're opening something up bigger than you typically do. Push through the upper foot. Pull the chest out. Yeah. And let go. Ragdoll. Feet separated, hip width or a little wider. Gently taking each elbow in your palm of your hand. Wrap your fingers around the elbows. Take a big breath in. Let the upper body drop. Big breath in. Big breath in. You'll still get the benefits of the pose if you bend the knees, if the hamstrings ask for it. You're releasing the low back and the hamstrings more, then you can get more out of it. So that's some really less is more. Sway side to side. Sway side to side. Good. Go ahead. Please bring your palms to the floor. And I want you to step back on your uh, left leg. Through the ball of the left foot, you press like you're pushing your left heel against the wall. And then I want you to press your shin up against your calf. And press your quad against your hamstring. Now, bend that knee a little bit. And kind of just, your uh, heel is still in line with your uh, foot, but I want you to push like that now. So your just knee is bent, but you're pressing like you're pushing your foot against a, a board. Now take the knee on the ground, top of the foot resting. I want you to come on up. And yeah, you can uh, cushion up that back knee too if you like. That's a really smart move. Hands to your hips. Set your gaze. Go to the breath. 
Very slowly lift that foot off the floor. Reach back and grab it if you can. If you have to widen your feet a little more, that's to feel like there's more stability, you'll do that. And you'll hug that heel towards your buttocks while you take your right arm straight up. And bring your first finger and thumb into each other. And bring that leg in a little more, the foot in a little more to the buttock. And then start pressing away and start pushing the foot into the hand. Breathe into that hip flexor. Breathe into whole new world. <laughs> Go ahead, look over your right shoulder. You'll feel your left hip steering forward toward the front of the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and release that foot. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Press your uh, foot again. Right against like it's against a wall. Push through that heel. Good. Now go ahead down dog. And see if you feel like that leg got a little bit longer. Yep. And you feel that lengthening more. So then press down through your uh, left heel and feel the rest of your leg lengthening upward toward the sky. Really good. Now go ahead, step your left foot forward. Cushion up that back knee so that you don't forget. And then place your palms flat, straighten through the right leg. And I want you to push. And you're not just pushing through the heel. You'll feel. Bring your mind to your shin. Press it into your calf. Press your quad right against the hamstring. And go ahead, bend that knee that right knee a little bit. Still pressing through that heel. The knee still lifted off the floor. There's that nice bend. Mm -hmm. Push right into the hand. Yeah. Pushing with my fingers. Pressing with this. Pushing with that. Good. Now go ahead and take that knee gently down to the floor, press the top of the back foot. Come on up. So the shoulders, if the shoulders line over the hips, there's balance. Plug the front foot down. Reach back if you can and catch hold of that foot. This time you're going to look over your left shoulder and it's going to steer your right hip forward. Yes. And you're going to draw that foot in against your buttock and then give a little resistance as well. And you'll draw it back in, hug that heel towards your glute. Now look forward, eyes land up, take your left arm straight up, first finger and thumb. As you breathe in, you'll feel that length through that uh, left side. So lengthen through the arm, and your inhale will lengthen through that left side of the the rib cage, the lung. Yep. Steer the right hip forward, just like you did looking over the left shoulder. And then look up. Look up so your chest stretches up towards your chin. You have it. And if you lose it, come back to it again. It's just a practice. You're tight, so you may not be able to hold it long or access things. You keep practicing and then you're creating a new story. <laughs> you didn't just go <laughs> Oh, I did. <laughs> Release. <laughs> Downward dog and feel the benefits of like new legs. Like new, same body. But man, you just opened something up. And it feels like we're opening up this can of worms. 
Yeah, because we need to. Good. Press down through the heels while every last bit of the back of your legs lengthens toward the ceiling. Push your uh, hips over to the right side and show your feet are completely apart. Really press like you're pushing your outer hip and thigh into the sun wall. Go to the left side and really press. Good. The places that we've been really super stuck in the body, they don't feel good, we get that. But also that's where things get the energy just gets stuck and it can make us it can make things not feel good too. So just take care of yourself through the process, but know you're in a really good place. The way out is through. You clear the body of toxins before they have a chance to really accumulate. You're staying on the path of wellness. Go ahead, from downward dog, walk straight to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Full exhalation, hugging again the back of your legs, chest to your thighs. Let your head get heavy, super heavy. Bring the hip weight a little more forward so that you feel like you're going towards your toes, but not crunching the toes. Instead, you cinch up your belly. Take a big breath in, and you won't be able to get a big breath because you're pretty compacted. But exhale and everything will be fine. Now, because you're down there a bit, it gets blood to really come to the brain, which is awesome, but we don't need the head rush. So press your feet into the floor, hands to your hips, slowly root down, keep your head down, hug in the belly, one vertebrae at a time, ironing out your spine as you come up. Take your hands, clasp them behind your back, grab a strap if you need to. Pull the chest through the arms. Feel the shoulder heads move away from each other. Get the collarbones to spread out. And release your arms. Tree pose, right side. Right foot. Bring it into that left inner ankle. Calf or the thigh. So we all come from the family tree, and those trees have roots, generation after generation after generation. And some of those roots are worth keeping. They really fertilized and made that tree grow. Some not so much. So as we grow up into adults, the roots of us grow. It started as a seed. Us as a little baby grew into our own tree. And then we can decide some of this I'll keep, some not so much. And so you plant new seeds. And those seeds need nurturing, they need grounding. so that they really anchor down into the earth. So plant your bottom foot down, hug your bottom leg, seeds for your family. Some familiar, some traditions you'll keep. 
some stuff you'll create a whole new world. Okay. Interlace your fingers over your head and press straight down to rise up. So find your roots, plant them, and rise through the legs, through the spine, through the heart, the crown, and release. Shake that left leg out, and then tree on the other side. Set your gaze. Ujjayi breath starts now. It starts before you even do anything with that left foot. And the Ujjayi breath is just in and moving through, moving out and coming back. Get caught up in that sound. You can stay in tree all damn day. You'd be in the same tree that you take every practice. And every practice, it's an opportunity to begin anew. But it's our mind that gets so boxed in and says, Oh, I know all there is to know. I've seen all there is to see. Right in our own homes, even. And yet every day, just like cells, cells are constantly regenerating, turnover. And there's constant evolving all over the place. You just got to see it. So we come to yoga, seeing initially what we see. And then oxygen starts to crack doors and windows open. And we'll get insights. Which means we start moving toward genius mind, which is exactly what Christopher Columbus had to access before he could create his own genius. Breathe in. Breathe out. Interlace your fingers over your head. Press straight up. Push down and you'll straighten and you'll squeeze that standing leg and you're going to go up nice and straight. There's your balance. And release. Press your feet together. Press your thighs together. Bend the knees. Reach up. And bow forward. Inhale, lengthen out. Press your butt back. And high plank. With the length of the spine, support the spine by hugging the belly in. Low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing. Right foot, warrior one. One pose into the next. Reach high. Find the feet. Everything else is going to work from there. <laughs> Warrior two. Wow. So they tell me. Yeah. So they promise in the, ro in the rosy uh, yeah. cheek yoga brochures. Damn it. <laughs> Take your right hand. Reach. Take your right elbow and forearm. Press it behind your head. Press your head into and breathe into a whole new world. Yeah, I'm just taking your body around the world. In all different planes, all different directions, that's all. Triangle. Lengthen through the front leg. Abby, this is going to be your favorite day in class. Take the left arm high. And breathe. Ah. Got Aladdin stuck in my head. Huh? Got Aladdin stuck in my head. <laughs> Pull the chest forward. Press that hip back. And then all this. Take the upper hand all the way to stand as you go. Oh, I was like, <laughs> all the ten toes face the tree. Good. Taking the arms up. Take your hands out to the sides. Press your palms straight out like you're pushing against walls. Now press the outer edges of your feet against the same walls. And then take your hands in a reverse prayer. Fingers can be up or down. Reverse meaning behind you. Press your hips forward. Press your thighs, like your hips, like they're against the wall. Arts rolling back. And forward fold. Set your eyes. Let the breath come in and come out, but let the breath slow down. 
focus on really drawing out those exhalations. Like draw them out so there's just nothing left. This how you bring peace to the mind, peace to the body. Flexibility, strength, that's all covered. Good. Hands to your hips. Push your feet into the earth. Get all your air out. Slowly as you draw the breath in, come up. Bend your knees a bit and really root the feet into the ground. Great. Turn your left, uh, right foot forward and step your back foot. Throw your back up to the front edge of your back. Yeah. <laughs> Bend your knees. Press your ankles together. Your inner ankles, the inner thighs. Spin them toward the ground. Sink lower. Press the knees back more. Good. Exhale, bow forward. One pose into the next. Halfway lift. High plank. Belly against the spine. Low plank. Elbows alongside the body. Up dog. Feet pressed down. Palms pressing. Chest lifting. Downward facing. Moving along. Left foot warrior one. Back foot down. Reach up. Open wide to warrior two. Take a breath in. Let your hips sink a little lower. Go into some place. Move. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Bend that elbow and press that forearm and the back of the head against each other. And straight through the front leg. Triangle, lengthen, and then open. You can widen out your feet. Your left hip will press in toward the middle of the mat like you're pressing the left buttock towards your back heel. And your chest pulls forward over your front leg. And the lower ribs are going to get lengthened. Take this on the lower. Breathe a little easier that way. Upper hand pulling you. Find the feet, all ten toes are going to be light back to the sun wall. Outer edges of the feet press. Take that exercise where you take your arms and lengthen them out, but push your palms against each other like a, if you were a crossing guard. Stop. Yep. Good. Take your arms a little below shoulder level. Yep. Now push right into my hand. Yep. Feel something in your chest opening up too. It really hurts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Down to a little. Yep. Push. Now go ahead and hands to the hips. Fold forward. And then make sure those feet are wide, but not where you go into crisis. Stay with the breath, stay with relaxation, so stay with exhalation. Walk your hands back toward that wall behind you. Press your palms into the floor, pull your chest up and out, up away from the floor, and really draw it away. Shoulders move them back and fold. Shift the weight forward again. So your hips start lining up over your heels. Then you plug the center of each heel into the floor. Take your hands to your hips. Get all your air out. When you're out, come up. Left toes to face forward. Right foot just going to step in today. Bend your knees, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Press your flat palms against your calves. Lengthen halfway again. Step back, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Up dog, in breath. 
Down dog, out breath. Bend your knees, bring them to the floor. Lift your feet up, cross your ankles. Roll over your feet, your seat, out onto your back. Yeah. A whole So you're just taking you around the world. On your back, take your arms out to the sides, palms up. Every finger spreading. You go into your palms and really spread them open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Knees drop to the right. Breath in. Out breath, knees left. Come back to center. With the feet separated, hip width apart. Make sure the feet are lined underneath your knees so you find the power of your actual leg. You access it through the feet. So the feet are your home base. Go ahead, lift your hips up. Lengthen your tailbone toward me. A few inches off the ground, lengthen it out. Then taking your hands underneath your back. Shimmy each shoulder in toward the middle of your mat. Away from the ears especially. Press down to go up. Exhale, come down. Breath in. Out. Bridge again. Really good. Keep pressing the feet into the earth. Feel the thighs squeezing in like you're going to hug the block between your thighs. And feel your heart lengthen away from your belly button. So you put mental focus there and that happens because mind and body are working together. Good. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth. Exhale, but stretch your mouth wide open. Like stretch out every bit of your mouth. Good. Bridge again. This time, I want you to bring your left foot in toward the middle. So find your bridge first. I'll wait. <laughs> Poets don't rush. <laughs> Take your left foot into the middle of your mat. Lengthen through the right leg and flex the right foot. Push it up into the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing down into that bottom foot. Squeezing the thighs, lifting them away from the ground. Hips are lifted away. Nice. Then come down. Slow it down. Then take the other side. Light it up. One pose into the next. Vinyasa just means there's flow. So there's pauses to go into the next thing. That's all. Come down. Really good. Go ahead and um, hug your knees into your chest. Rock yourself up to flat feet. And let's set up for tabletop. So bring your feet flat. Spin your palms so the fingers will face the side walls. Lift your hips up. Lengthen your tailbone toward the backs of your knees. Push your feet into the floor, squeeze your thighs together. Lots of the weight is in the legs. Lots of the strength is there too. And then the upper body just stretches back. Head's gonna fall. Push straight up, press your heart and hips up into the ceiling, your belly button too, and come down. Go ahead, come out onto your back again. And take that block. Oh. and take it between your thighs roll over onto your right hip but keep your chest squared up to the ceiling hands behind your head flex your feet squeeze that block and you're going to pulse 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 Two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. We're going to come into new territory. Five, four, three, two, one, ten, 
nine, eight. Put your hand on your oblique so you can feel this. You might hang out in it a little more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Roll one right into the next. Get all your air out. Square your chest so it faces the ceiling. Look up there if you like. When you're ready, pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fingertips to the obliques. Find that spot where you're working it and keep working. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Come up and release. Hug your knees into your chest, take the block out. Rock side to side. Good. And go ahead, take your right, uh, both legs up to the ceiling, flexing your feet. And then this time, take your hands behind your head. With the feet, both feet flexed, I want you to lengthen the left leg just a few inches above the floor, straight out in front of you. Yep, toward me. Pulse, 10. So keep the leg there and just pulse the upper body. Yep. I'll start over. 10, oh. 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Switch it up. Keep going. That's the hardest. You're going into a new place today. Ten, nine, eight, seven. But you can't will your way there. You just got to allow yourself to show up there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take both legs up to the sky. And pulse. Hands alongside the hips, palms facing me in that stop position. Yep. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Keep your hands right alongside your hips the whole time and just push, push your palms toward me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take your hands behind your head, flex your feet. One pose into the next, finish it out, bicycles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees to your chest. Ah. There's a ton of strength in the core. And we access it so that the spine feels oh. better supported. I don't know how I don't look like Alma Pearson yet. It's crazy. It's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I was done with the apps, but we're going to do one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> In honor of Ellie, cross your ankles, bend your knees. Yep, bring your palms flat to the floor. Okay, and I want you to curl your knees in towards your chest, but you're really gonna go into the lower belly, and you're gonna show, let it show you what is really capable. Knees to chest, so you give that little lift up through the hips, but you try really hard not to press down with your arms, and if it's just not happening, Rest your hands on your belly or something so you're not cheating. Oh, should I count? Just do as many as you can do till your belly gets tired. <laughs> like you're in control. Let's go. You're in control. And when you think, I don't have another freaking one left two, in me, two more. <laughs> you're going to go into three more. Get to the place where you're like, no way, I've got nothing left. 
That's when it's actually starting. <laughs> so all the ones you're doing right now before the last three are just like pre-rec. <laughs> One. Yeah. Three. All right. Now big squeeze of the knees into the chest. Ah. Rock sides. Ah. And go ahead and just rock around the whole clock. Rock your whole body around in a circle. So just make a circle with your body around your mat. Oh. Yep. So you just rock <laughs> up, and then when you rock back, you're in a new place, and then you rock up. Yeah, that surprisingly is working my core. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. All right, go ahead, cross your ankles. Bring your palms flat. Step back to down dog. I want you to take your right foot about a, oh, a third of the way up the mat. Keep your left heel lifted, your right heel lifted as well. And all you're doing is rocking the body weight forward so the shoulders stay over the wrists. And as you do so, you're going to hop off that right foot. And you're going to hug in that belly. So it can show you what it's really capable of. Because the ab work is showing you your strength, but it's actual like experience to show you strength. So it feels weird because I usually kick the other leg. So let's switch sides and let's see. So the secret is lift this heel really high. Yeah. So then you're just pushing. Yeah. But just focus on this foot. Bend this knee and push off it. And this one kicks, the left one goes up on its own. Go for it. Shoulders over the wrists is going to make it feel less weighted. Yep, there you go. <sighs> yeah, good. Downward dog. Take that right leg, sweep it up. Pigeon. Lengthen through that left leg. Top of the foot landing. And your upper body folds over the front knee or over the floor. You need that towel? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you want to really draw the toes back on that upper foot. Through the, uh, right there, the ball of the, underneath the pinky toe. Push into it. Turn up the volume of breath. Not rushing it, but just get curious with it. Be an observer of your own breathing. You inhale, just a nice and long length. The exhale, make that a little bit deeper, a little bit longer.
if you did in the beginning, I want you to take your right palm into the floor flat, lift your chest up away from the ground, take your left arm straight out, and then straight up. And then I'd like you to thread your left arm through, just like you did at the start of class. Oh. Again, use that right hand. Oh my lord. I'm yeah. never, ever getting out of this. Oh my god. <laughs> use that right palm for leverage and go back to breath. <laughs> so you're just taking your hip opening to a whole new place. my knee more than <laughs> Which knee? Your, this one. Front knee? Yeah, my foot's flexed like to that. Cushion underneath you? No, know, it's just the knee itself. There. Can you take your hands into prayer? Yeah. Do um, that. Line up under that elbow, bottom elbow. Yeah. Do this? Yeah, and just kind of give yourself that twist. It still work for sure, but oh, yeah. <sighs> now take your arms, both of you, right out in front of you, on the ground, and let your head relax. Big breath in, empty it out, press your palms into the floor, push off that back foot, slowly take that leg out. Oh. Bend the knee and roll it open like you do in down dog, you move back to down dog, keep the leg straight up. Roll it open. Peel it open slowly. And then go ahead, bring the foot to the floor. Left leg, sweep it high. Lengthen, pull the leg and foot away from the hip flexor. And then sweep it through. Set it up. Perfect. And just bring your forehead down. And just going into your breath. And if you want to take that variation, feel free, either threading a needle or palms pressing in prayer. Something that's going to work. Something that's going to work. And then bring it back to center. Take your arms out in front of you. Look to get a little length through the fingertips away from the back toes. Big breath in. Out. Bring your palms to the floor. Root down through your palms and through the ball of your back foot. Push off both. 
Take that leg lifted high, higher than normal. Bend the knee, roll it open. Feel it back a little more on the out breath. And release. Bring your uh, knees to the ground. Take your feet out in front of you. Take your palms behind you, flat palm. This time, point your toes away. And press down and go up. And if that's too intense, just bring it back into a tabletop. Come down on your bum. Lengthen out through the legs again. Sit up tall. Forward fold. Pressing your thighs into the earth. Quads down into the hamstrings, hamstrings into the earth, even if the knees are bent. Lengthen out through both heels. Lengthen your spine a little more as you inhale. And exhale, let your chest collapse down. Come on up. And then without a word, eyes closed, make your way out onto your back. Push your feet like they're against that wall in front of you. Just press your feet against it. Feel the power of your legs integrating back into your hips and femur. And then let them go. Lift your shoulders up off the floor, please, and curl them down towards your butt. And then squeeze your uh, arms and make fists. Squeeze your biceps, squeeze your triceps. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now clench your jaw, squeeze your eyes shut. Tighten up your upper body. Feel that. Feel it. Squeeze in more, squeeze more. Let go. Feel your whole back side of the body melt into the ground. It teaches us that to clench our jaw, to clench our fists, to squeeze every muscle. Yeah, it's real power there, but it's exhausting holding that. And it takes a lot of energy. And it takes energy away from vitality. Because we can't keep it up forever. So it also teaches us the strength of surrender. Surrender your whole back side of the body into the ground. Feel your chin lengthen towards your chest so that the neck is long. Press into the base of the skull, press it against the floor. Feel like you're pushing the middle of your head, the crown of your head, right up against my hands. Feel the fingers just roll in, curl into the palm. Feel every muscle on your face just surrender. And notice that's your secret to freer, fuller breath too.
feel it most of your breath coming into the body and how it's making your chest and belly expand upward to make room for it. And then let your exhale bring everything back down. your right knee into your chest, just your right knee, and while your right foot splits and bending and pushing it against the door, take that right leg straight out, put the left knee in, press that leg right against the chest, against the belly, push through the left foot, bring that right leg up to, hug both legs in, while you lengthen your lower back toward the front edge of your mat. Roll to the right. Take your head up, slide your arms under your ear. Slaughtering the Indians now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Go into it. 